Hello class, my name is Professor Hebert, and today we are going to be going over a few problems from section 3.4 on marginal functions in economics. Now, my helpful assistant Lexi has given us a few facts to get us started. Fact, marginal analysis is the study of a rate of change of economic quantities. The next fact we have written on the board is that marginal cost equals cost added by producing one additional unit of a product or service. Now that we know these two main facts when it comes to a marginal functions question, let's move on to an example. Okay, thanks Luke for introducing us to marginal functions. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to question three and 3.4, which states, the total weekly cost incurred by Lincoln Records in pressing X compact disc is, and it gives us an equation, which is C of X equals 2000 plus two of X minus 0.0001 X squared. And this equation basically represents the price to produce X amount of discs per week. So the first question that we're gonna be looking at, which is part of a marginal cost question is, what is the actual cost incurred in producing the 1,001st and 2,001st disc? So when you're looking at this problem, you need to think of it as what we explained over here, which is saying that a co marginal cost is cost added by producing one additional unit of a product or service. So since we have 1,001 discs being produced, we're gonna base it off of 1,000. So we have 1,000 here. And your equation is going to be C of 1,001 equals 1,000 minus 1,001. So basically what that is saying is we are going to be plugging in the um, numbers that we know into this equation. So it'll be, um, let's see. So now that we have that written out, we're gonna subtract it by the 1,000 with the same equation. Okay, so once we have that written out, you basically just do order of operations till you get down to the bottom. Okay, so this is the answer to the first part of it, which is 1,001, which is basically just going to be $1.80 to produce the 1,001st disc. So for the 2,001st, you're basically going to do the exact same thing, but instead of using 1,000 and 1,001, you're going to be using 2,000 and 2,001 and do the exact same process, and you should get $1.60. Question, we still have to do part B, which is asking, what is the marginal cost when x equals 1,000 and x equals 2,000? So a fact when doing this problem is that you want to use the derivative of the original function, so it'll be c prime of x. So you, the function that you're using is the c of x equals 2,000 plus 2x minus 0.0001x squared. So c prime of x would equal two minus 0.0002x. Does anyone have any questions on how I got to that? No, ma'am. Okay, so now once you have this equation, you're basically just going to plug in 1,000 and 2,000 in for the x. So it would be c prime of 1,000 equals two minus 0.0002 times 1,000. So that 
zero equals e two minus zero point two, which equals dollar and eighty cents. So c prime of a thousand is a dollar and eighty cents. And you're gonna do the exact same thing for two thousand. So c prime of two thousand equals two minus zero point zero 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 two times two thousand which equals two minus zero point four, which equals dollar and sixty cents. So C prime of two thousand equals a dollar sixty cents. So these are the marginal costs for a thousand and two thousand. Uh, continuing on with our lesson, we're gonna move into average cost functions. Uh, this is denoted as C bar equals C of X over X. Okay, so Luke just introduced us the average cost function. So the problem that we're going to be going over is number 3.4, number 7. And that is saying find the average cost of the function C bar and the marginal average cost function C prime bar associated with the total cost function C of exercise 3. We should remember that the C of x equation for exercise three was c of x equals 2000 plus 2x minus 0.0001x squared. We should also remember that the average cost function is c bar equals c of x over x. So let's go ahead and plug that in um, to this equation. So we know that c of x is this equation, so you can go ahead and plug that in. So 2000 plus 2x minus 0.00. .00 Zero, 1 x squared and that is all over x so now after this one you can this step basically what you're doing is taking out the x from the bottom so it'll end up being 2000 over x minus 2 just minus 2 minus 0.0001x 0 000 okay so now once you've gotten that equation, we can actually work on the marginal cost equation that it's asking for in the question. So when you're finding marginal cost, you need to remember that you are now trying to find the derivative. So now you're trying to find C prime bar. And that is going to equal, so C prime bar of x equals 2,000 over x plus 2 minus 0.00. .00 0, 1x. Now you're going to use the same process when you're finding a derivative of any other equation and then it's going to look like this. And that is your marginal cost equation.